everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader and today I wanted to talk to you about The Heart Principle, uh, which was one of my most recent romance reads. I have read Helen's books. She's got, I think this is the third one. I've read them all. The first one is The Kiss Quotient, the second one is The Bride Test, and the third one is The Heart Principle. She writes amazing characters. Helen writes characters who are typically on the autism spectrum and um, writes romances for a lot of these characters. So the first one um, I loved, second one I loved, and of course third one loved as well. These are typically not rom-coms. They're not funny. They're more emotional, like on a deeper level. And so that is something to definitely know before you jump into her books. As much as they are emotional, they are also very steamy, like very high steam level. She likes to talk about a lot of insecurities and questions and things uh, revolving around sexual experiences. A lot of people I feel like can really relate to these books. This one in particular is about a girl named Anna and she has been struggling a lot in her life, can't really understand why, and finally decides to start therapy where her therapist tells her that she believes that she is on the autistic spectrum. She finally feels like her uh, world essentially is explained, feels like she belongs, finally understanding pieces of herself that she didn't before. But at the same time that this is happening, her longtime boyfriend, who she doesn't truly love, but she's kind of people pleased throughout her whole life, tells her that he wants to be in an open relationship before he decides that he truly wants to be with her forever. So he thinks that they should go see other people. This devastates her and she ends up using a dating app to try to just get a one night stand out of the way to get back at him and ends up meeting Quan. This book is great. I love how all of Helen's books are connected. So you know characters um, throughout all three of them. She, they, they're all kind of in the same family. This book was very emotional. Like there were a lot of trigger warnings in this book. She does actually talk about them in the end in the author's note. So if you are curious, you can read the author's note before diving into the book. There's some trigger warnings for um, suicide, for uh, caretaking, family illness, uh, things like that. Um, there's like a little bit of emotional abuse in relationships. So, you know, know that going into this book, but it was great. I read it extremely quickly, but it is very emotional. I don't know, it might have been my favorite of her three. Th between this one and The Kiss Quotient, the first one, it's kind of a hard decision. This one though, I, I did read her note at the end and it was, what she said was kind of a memoir for her. It seemed like it was very personal because it was so personal. I think that's a big reason why I loved it a lot. If you haven't picked up any of Helen's books before, definitely pick them up. They're not funny romances, but they are very steamy and they are very emotional, dealing with a lot of family issues, personal issues, relationship issues, and kind of coming out on top of that and, and growing as a person. So if you're looking for that in a book, uh, definitely check out Helen's. I got this book through Book of the Month, so I will put a link to my Book of the Month uh, in the description down below, as well as another link uh, that you can purchase the book if you'd like to just purchase it outright. If you want to find me on other places, you can look on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for me at The Fun Size Reader. See you guys next time.